you guys, I have been twisting my hair. Well, not twisting, but um, finger coiling my hair. See? I don't know what it looks like in the back. I've just been using Eco Styler Gel. My hair has been washed um, in regular condition, not deep conditioned. Um, and I put my leave-in conditioner in there, the Giovanni's Direct Leave-In. And this is what my hair looks like. So basically, I'm not the best at finger coiling, but I definitely ain't the worst either. <laughs> so what I do is I take a section, I just put Eco Styler gel in it and work it through. And then after it's worked through, take my Denman brush and comb it. Until it like kind of curls. Then I just split it like this. And since it's got the gel in it, it kind of stays up. And I just twist it. But it's really hard for me because, especially in the back, I can't see what's going on back there. Like, here's a whole piece that I didn't even twist. And I didn't realize it until now. You know? So, it probably would be easier if I used, like, hair clips. But I'm lazy. Here's what it looks like when I'm twisting it. I'm hoping the white stuff dries, like seriously, because I hope it doesn't have, like, I hope it doesn't dry white. I really don't like, I like Eco, but I don't like it because of the, how long it takes to dry. And I'm always air drying, which some people don't like to air dry. Um, and some people say you shouldn't air dry. There's so much information on the internet. You just don't know what to, what to think. But all I know is when I was growing up, we did what we wanted to do to our hair. We had hair going all the way down to our tailbones. Now there's so much gimmick and all of that. And we think we have to have all these different things. and put in so much work and really natural hair does not take as much work. There's, there should be no such thing as a wash day. Maybe a wash hour, depending on the length of your hair, an hour or two max. But a wash day, nah, that's too long. That is too long, sis. I cannot. Let me know if you've tried finger coils on your hair before and what your tips and tricks are to get them to come out nicely. I am using my telephone and people keep calling me like in the middle. Like people keep calling me in the middle of my, my video and that's like the wonkiest thing about using, using your phone. Like I was saying, tell me what your tips and tricks are to get your finger coils to come out nicely. I'm just running, rubbing this stuff through my hair. I know some people don't do it in like huge sections like this. Honestly, I'm probably one of the laziest naturals you'll ever meet. One of them. Not the laziest, but at least one of them. Because when I was growing up, how many of y'all remember the pink oil uh, moisturizer? I used to use that on my hair. My mom used to use that on my hair. And if I can ever find any pictures of me when I was a kid, I'm going to show you. I had a ton of hair. She also used perm repair, and I didn't even have a perm. 
So that was weird. But I always kept my hair moisturized. And um, I never had any breakage or anything like that. Breakage wasn't even a thing when I was a kid. Like, what? Breakage on natural hair? Mm -mm. Nah. Not ever. And so I always say keep it simple. Because that's, that's what worked for us back in the day. And that's what will work for us now. Plus, because our hair is so fragile in comparison to hair to other hair types being a type four i don't care what y'all say i'm a type four because until you feel this even though it curls up until you feel this you will know you 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 will know anyway my idea i'm not sure if once i finish this will i take my finger coils apart and like I've seen people do that and they're like really cool but I probably made my finger coils too small for that you know mm. also I try to make them kind of tight but my hair is really slippery because I do everything on like soaking wet hair I can't like dry it first or do it on damp hair, like the instructions say, or I will never get a comb through it. So, it all comes down to knowing your hair. There's, like I said, there's a lot of advice on the internet. And some of it is good. But just remember, like, you got to do what's good for your own hair. You know, even, even if you have the same type or curl pattern is somebody else. Their hair may be high porosity, your hair may be low porosity, or a mix of porosities, or you know what I'm saying, a mix of textures. Everybody's hair is different. I feel like people's hair are like fingerprints. You know how everybody has different fingerprints? I feel like hair is the same way. I know that sounds crazy, but I do. So, I mean, we can look at each other, um, each other's process and hair and get inspiration, but just know that nobody knows your hair like you do. Nobody knows your hair like you do, especially if you're natural. And if you've been natural like me your whole life, then definitely nobody knows your hair like you do. And if you just turn natural, get to know your hair. Get to know your hair. And the best thing you can do is not have any expectations. When you go natural, especially for the first time, don't have any expectations. And you'll be pleasantly surprised every single time. It doesn't matter what other people's hair can do. The job is to find out what your hair can do. Because there's always something your hair can do that nobody else's hair can do. Like, I love 4C hair. I don't have it, but I love it because my favorite style is an afro. Like, since I was a little kid, oh my gosh, I loved afros. And people with 4C hair, can make the best afros. I mean, I like my afros so thick, like no light passes through them. And them 4C afros, oh my gosh. They are just like that. Oh my gosh, I love them. But I can't make that kind of afro, so I have to just be content in the fact that there are things that I can do with my hair. I can make an afro, but it's not gonna look like like that and it used to get me upset because I didn't have a 4C afro I used to be very upset and my cousin does have a 4C afro so I felt like she was lucky but yeah just appreciate what you got 
there are people that can't even grow hair, have, you know, problems, sicknesses, diseases, and medicine reactions, and I've been on the end of that, and they can't recoup, they can't come back from it. Just be thankful for what you have, and do what you can with it, make it look good. I guarantee no matter what your hair type is, somebody is drooling over it, wishing they had it. But we we shouldn't do we shouldn't do that though. We shouldn't be looking at each other's hair like, man, I wish I had. But we're human. I feel like this is a get ready with me. Only I ain't going nowhere. I'm just doing my hair for the week. <laughs> I never really do videos where you just like talk to the camera. So let me know if I'm getting on y'all nerves and I'll just turn on some music and be quiet. It seems to be coming across all right now. See? I don't know if you guys can see it, but when you're in like a regular mirror, you can see it. You can see it pretty well. But, child, I'm scared to see the back. <laughs> I'm scared to see the back. I'm going to just put a bobby pin right there so, so they'll all stay going this way. There's something about me. I like a part in my hair. I don't like a middle part, but I do like a part in my hair. And this is my last section. When my hair gets kind of dry, I just wash my hands a little bit or put water on my hands and then touch it. And that's enough to... Oh, See that? <laughs> that's enough to reactivate it. I have another question. Does like one side of your hair grow longer than the other or faster than the other? Like for me, sometimes it seems like the top side grows fat, like the top grows faster than the sides. And sometimes it like seems like the back grows faster. Like right now, I wish I had showed you this part right here at the ground. It looks so weird because it's all like tall and the rest of it is kind of short right now. I just want to know if anybody else's hair does that. Or is, uh, is that just me? Was that a curl that I made? Yeah, I made that. Hmm. I'm almost done. How about my arms are tired too? Like, <laughs> you know, like when you get towards the end and you start resting your elbows on your sh on your stomach. Well, I'm kind of chubby, so I rest my elbows on my stomach. I think all in all, this is taking a half hour. For me, washing my hair takes about ten minutes, if that. And styling it takes about a half hour. And, and I know it's because it's short. Because the longer my hair gets a little bit more time. But I never style longer than, wash and style longer than two hours. You know, I got time for that. Even if I don't have no plans that day. I'm not about to be standing up in the bathroom all day long. Sweating my hair out trying to style it. Mm-mm. Not I. I like how this side has like <laughs> has a little what is that called? Sideburn. But the other side doesn't. <laughs> if I'm looking, this is a long video. I hope y'all watch to the end. At least so you can see how this turns out. My parts are heinous. 
<laughs> my sister said she's gonna braid my hair next week. I don't like getting um hair added to my hair. I like I like having my own hair braided up. But my sister has natural hair and she always gets hair added to her hair. And it always looks really good. But I just don't have the personality to pull that off. You know? She be getting like cool hairstyles too. Almost done, yes! Okay, that one's a little big, but I don't care. You can tell I'm getting lazy. I just hope I got all my hair. <laughs> Whew. I don't know what this is going to look like when it dries. Hopefully it don't look a hot mess. Put a bobby pin right there. Cause I don't want a big hole right there. I think this was it. Yeah, that way it'll dry flat. All right, I'm gonna show you the back. You can comment below if it looked wrecked back there. All right, that's it. I'm gonna let it dry and hopefully it dries today. I think it'll dry today and I'll see y'all later. Turns out that I did have somewhere to go, but this is what it looks like dry. They're pretty tight. So yeah, I guess I can wear this style for about a week. Figure out to put some bows over here, maybe a headband, something. I'll figure it out. Good night.